Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Tracks the Train Set Game. And we have a new update with new parts and new customizability. And a lot of the parts are circus related, and there's some like palm trees and stuff. So I thought, let's combine everything and make a desert circus. And we're even going to make it complete with some music as well. Because we're going to use the musical bells that we have in our inventory. Where are they? Where are the musical bells? Here we go. We're going to use the music notes to create a little bit of a circus theme. Uh, somewhere on this map. I don't really know what's going to happen. We're just going to be kind of testing out what all the new stuff is in this update. But we can see some of the new parts in here. We got some palm trees, some bushy trees. We got a caravan, which I think is going to fit well in the desert. A lorry. We can use this as like the, the transport trucks for all the circus equipment. Hot air balloon. I feel like that makes good for circus environment as well. And then we have the circus tents and stuff and Ferris wheel. Oh, we, got, we also already had the merry-go-round, so we can add that. And I think it's going to be a fun little circusy world of desert entertainment. But that is not all that is new with this update. One of the bigger changes or additions is the ability to customize your train more completely. So you can see we got style options for our train here. We can uh, change the color of... Oh, apparent, I thought there was going to be the body of the train, but apparently that's the train whistle. So I guess we'll make that red uh, bottom. What does bottom mean? I don't, wait, what? Here, let's zoom in on our train a little bit here so we can get a better view of what we're actually doing. Oh, here we go. So I had the strength down at 0%. We have to turn the strength up in order for, there it is. Okay, so we have different patterns and stuff. Check out these patterns. All right, so we have just blank, which is solid color. We have checker, and then we have lines. So I think for circus, Let's do lines and let's uh, let's theme it to the way that the tents are themed. So we're gonna go with red's gonna be the primary color, and then the trim is going to be this kind of like deep yellow. Where is it? Yeah, right about there. And bottom? Oh, there's the bottom. I guess we can have the bottom also be yellow. There we go. All right, now let's just check what is what does it look like with the other color combinations. Yeah, I think lines is the way to go. What is condition? Oh, look at that. You can have it all like worn out and stuff. That's really awesome. I like the way that that works a lot. Now let's have it, we're gonna have it be a fresh, fresh style. All right, now we've got our circus train and that circus train is going to perfectly match these circus tents. So let's go ahead and put a tent right next to it for comparison. Look at that. Oh, it looks great. All right, you know what? Let's, let's pretend like the circus train is coming out of the circus tent. There we go. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I think it's a good way to start off. All right, so let's actually start with the music. We're gonna have a musical introduction into Circus Town. So I need, I'm gonna need to give myself enough of a straightaway here because that's gonna be the easiest way to keep the musical rhythm is on a straight track. That way I can uh, be at a constant speed. And we just need to be able to get up to speed first though. So let's uh, give ourselves some speed boosters to start off with. I'm only gonna do like a portion of the circus theme, just like the first half of it, and then we'll go into the town because I don't have, a, I actually don't have a lot of time to record this. So I hope I can finish this all in time. But uh, let's start with, uh, Let's start with C. All right, let's start there. All right, so I just gotta get a feel for how fast are we, how fast is this tempo gonna be at this speed? Is this good for, for quarter notes or is this like we're eighth notes? All right, I think that's good. I think that's a good start. All right, I think we have our intro. So let's go ahead and test it out and see how our circus theme sounds. Actually, I should probably turn the game music off first, shouldn't I? All right, there we go. Game music is off. Now we'll be able to hear perfectly exactly what's going to be happening here. Perfect. All right, so we've done that successfully. Now we have our entrance into the circus town. So we're going to have the circus town kind of open up here. And then we're going to be able to see what we're going to put in with all of our new parts and our new thingamajiggies and ferris wheels and circus tents and merry-go-rounds and fun and things. So I think what might be kind of cool is uh, using the big circus tent as kind of like the central hub or the central marker. Wow, this is actually really big. This is kind of cool. I like this. All right, so there is the main attraction, but we're going to have some stuff all around. You know, what? let's actually, let's just place a bunch of things down and then we'll build the track through and around all of it, rather than trying to build the track first and then lining everything up with it. 
All right, so we can have a couple of like uh, fun fair tent attractions just around the edges or around the outsides. What well, what is my train doing, Mr. Trip? Mr. Train, <laughs> he's going home. He's going home. He's playing the music. Well, there's the circus theme backwards if you ever wanted to know. And I actually just realized that when the bells play, it automatically uh, it automatically lowers the volume of the background music. So that's kind of cool. So we don't really need to actually worry about turning the background music on and off. All right, so we'll have a couple of stations around the tent, like little fun fair stations for activities and games, I figured. We'll make it nice and symmetrical just because I like it when things are nice and symmetrical. And did we make this nice and symmetrical? <laughs> we... We did not. There we go. Now it's nice and symmetrical. And then we'll have a couple of like different attractions out in front of the tent. So we'll have a merry-go-round over here. I mean, a Ferris wheel. And then this is the actual merry-go-round. The merry-go-round will go over on this side. And I figure we can have the track like circle around the Ferris wheel and the merry-go-round. Ooh, we could definitely use some palm trees for atmosphere. Actually, let's put some palm trees going along, like, right here. Our little entrance into the circus town. This will look kind of nice. And we also have a palm group. How big is this? Oh, that's not bad either. We'll just use these ones a little bit more sparingly. Bushy tree. How does the bushy tree fit? The bushy tree doesn't really fit in the desert. So let's not use the bushy tree, even though it's one of the new pieces. We'll just ignore that for now. Ooh, definitely some hot air balloons going to be happening over the circus town. And you know what? Let's actually have hot air balloons be an attraction. So we can actually have over here on this behind the tent will be like the hot air balloon station. So we'll have a couple of like reserve hot air balloons for people. Actually, it should probably be a little bit farther apart if people are going to be taken off of the hot air balloons. You don't want to take off right next to other hot air balloons. So we'll have them all spaced out kind of like this. And uh, I feel like having hot air balloons as an attraction would be a big liability for a circus. <laughs> but, uh, well, I guess if you have them, like, attached to ropes to the ground, so they're not really just floating out all willy-nilly. So, yeah, that, that, that makes it more believable to me. We'll have this one really, really high up here over the tent. And because we have a circus tent, the hot air balloons can't see anything that's going on inside. All right, so there's our hot air balloon field. <laughs> And here you see the wild hot air balloons in their natural habitat. All right, I think this is looking good so far. Now let's add some trailer trucks for the sake of atmosphere of, you know, circus circus tents have, ha have to have their materials come from somewhere. We're going to have this one go right behind, hiding behind the tent back there. Um, we're gonna, just going to have a trailer per attraction. That's just kind of be like the reasoning is that each attraction fits inside of a single trailer truck. So they just go ahead and park out behind their attractions. And obviously the hotter balloons need some more trailer trucks because they got lots of baskets and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. And then the caravans can be people actually like camping out and stuff. And can I change the rotation grid? Yes, I can. So we're going to have people sleeping out by the train track over here because that's the best place to sleep is right by a train track. Everyone knows that. But people are camping out, waiting for the circus to open, having a good time. We should probably put some cars by the campers. That would make a lot of sense, huh? Oh, look at that. It attaches perfectly, too. That's really cool. You know, we could have some people, they have their camper detached and their cars, like, parked somewhere else. Yeah, we can add some more atmosphere to this. All right, and you know what I'm thinking? We can put lines as well. So let's go ahead and put uh, a line coming out out of here. So here's a fun game we can play in the comments. Um, we got four different circus tents here or four different mini circus tents here. So what kind of games or activities do you think are going on in these circus tents? Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you would like to do at a circus like this. What we, what, do you, what are these people waiting in line for? I mean, we got some people being nice and patient waiting in line here. So I'm curious what you think is line worthy at the circus. Oh, I just realized that the merry-go-round has its own music. All right, cool. I did not know that. What about the, uh, does the Ferris wheel have music? Oh, it's the same music. That makes sense. I wonder if the music is a new addition with the circus update or not. Oh, this is perfect. I totally forgot about these pieces as well. These are new. We have a camping tent and a barbecue. These are going to be perfect for our campers. All right, here we go. We got a nice barbecue happening out here. Where's their tent going to be, though? 
Let's let's make it like a triangle. Like they're they're built their area in sort of a triangle. There we go. And do they have do we have chairs? Do we have like singular chairs to put down? I don't think we have singular chairs. We have benches. Or oh, a picnic table. A picnic table would make sense. Alright, that picnic table works. Oh, now that I think about it, why would you need a tent and a camper? I mean, the camper has a bed in it. You can see it in the back there. I mean, I guess some people just like the outdoors. They, they want to camp outdoors. So you might want to bring a tent too. That makes sense to me. All right. So I've also just added some fireworks right after the musical song to kind of like introduce. You just arrived at the circus. Here's some fireworks for you. So now let's start building the track around our circus town. Should we have the train go like into the circus, do you think? Like, should we have the track lead directly in? That would actually be kind of cool if the track for some reason was part of the circus so you could just go in there. I don't know. Can we even like build around in here? Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, no way. Oh, wait. All right. So I, I want the... Oh. Oh, there we go. I accidentally deleted the tent. But I can't... I can't modify the track in there because my mouse interferes with the actual tent. But I really want to go around this. It's working. Please let me go. Oh, no. I can't do this type. I can't do this type of connection here. There we go. I figured it out. All right. So the train goes in. Goes around here, then goes around this loop, and then it can come right back out. So our train can actually go inside the circus tent. That is not something I was planning on doing, but it totally works. All right, so now let's uh, let's make some variations here. You know what? This might be a this might be a time for a turntable. I think we're gonna put a turntable right here. There we go. And now we can just choose whatever direction that we want to go. All right, so let's start off heading this way. We're gonna head right over in front. Oh, this is gonna interfere with the people if I do that close. So let's go a little bit further out. We're gonna head over in front of these circus tents here, and we'll have a veer off that goes over there. But first, I just want to circle around the actual circus. There we go. And then after we circle around the circus, then we'll create our alternative paths that go to the different attractions. So then these will have to be like stations to stop at rather than going into the tents, because those tents are way too small uh, to house a train, except the fact that we did that at the starting line. But let's ignore that. All right, so then I built a track over here. So you have the option once you come around, you can turn left or you can go straight through. And if you turn left, then you have the option to actually circle around as many times as you want for the Ferris wheel, which I think is kind of a fun option. So let's do the same thing over by the merry-go-round. All right, there we go. That's looking good too. I feel like we're gonna have to add some more decorative, some something in these areas here, in addition to the attractions, because it's just like this empty space. And I don't really know why it doesn't it looks like something belongs there. So let's just try to consider what we might want to put in there. How about fountains? Fountains seem like they might be cool. I mean, I don't really know many circuses with fountains, but uh, it's, it's not going to stop us from adding some more atmosphere to this thing. How about fountains with like tables for sitting and stuff? There we go. Now, the only thing is these tables should have the similar. We, I wish we could customize the colors of everything like we can the train because these tables should have a similar kind of color scheme to the rest, rest of the service, in my opinion. All right, let's create a line for the rides as well. Where are our people? There we go. Now we got some people waiting in line for the Ferris wheel. And now we need some for the merry-go-round as well. There we go. So should we put another fountain over here? Should we put the big one on this side, do you think? I think the big one fits here better. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Nice and centered as well. And we'll add some more picnicking options over here. All right, look, our circus town is looking not too bad. Here, let me turn down the fog density a little bit so we can see. All right, and it's looking good. This is looking really good. I'm liking the circus town so far. All right, so now I just think we need some more atmosphere and stuff. Let's add some more palm trees back into the, the mix here. We'll put some palm trees for some more aesthetics around the area. Oh, I totally forgot to have... <laughs> I totally forgot to put some um, tracks going to the hot air balloons. We have nobody able to get to the hot air balloons. Let's fix this. There we go. Now we have hot air balloon access, but then that leaves another big open space for, um, you know what? You know what this is for? Rock climbing. A lot of circuses have like those rock climbing walls. Let's actually have like a real rock climbing wall. I guess it's gonna be kind of like over here. And then we can put some climbers on the wall. There we go. So that's just one area of this. And I did I, the reason I didn't want to make the whole thing because I didn't want it to block the view of the hot air balloons. So we need something smaller over here that's not going to block more of our view. What about giant Jenga? <laughs> this thing is 
This thing's a liability. This would just kill people if it falls over something of this size. And it has the potential of falling over into the tracks. We'll just put it there just because we need something else to put there. That does not look sturdy. That does really not look sturdy. All right, so now I think we need some benches. We need to just put some benches and picnic tables around. You know, let's just have this bench uh, right here. Just prime spot for being slaughtered by the Jenga tower. Have some more benches over here. People can watch their children play on the dangerous rock wall and giant Jenga tower of doom. All right, so I've just created a perimeter of palm trees. That way it just kind of outlines the main area. And I'll add a couple of the palm groups in there just for some variety. So yeah, it's just more of like an aesthetic, like visual border. And why not just put a nice little light archway? Oh, that's not evenly spaced at all. We're just gonna put a light archway uh, leading into the circus after the fireworks. I think that works well. All right, and I think we have ourselves a little circus town. So let's, before we go drive through it with the train, let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice bird's eye view here and check that out. I think it's looking pretty good. I gotta be honest, I'm actually a little bit surprised that it turned out this well. I'm not that great at making amazing looking things in a short amount of time, but uh, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it pretty well here. Hopefully I didn't forget anything that I meant to put in here. Just do one quick run through and uh, yeah, imagine putting an igloo just in the desert. <laughs> you know, that could be a circus. Let's do it. That could be a circus attraction. Where are we gonna put the igloo? Where are we gonna put the igloo? Where, let's put the igloo in here. Let's just get rid of one of these circus ta tables and uh, we're just gonna have an igloo is wait did that go inside oh there we go there's a bench there's a picnic table inside the igloo that works it could be like a, a, a circus attraction where it's like igloo in the desert but it's just gonna be a fake ice thing all right let's get in our train and oh yeah that's wait wait did our train get damaged look at all the paint it like came off i wonder if that actually like happens as you use it more and more all right well let's reset ourselves i hope we reset ourselves there we go all right, well, here it is. It is time to travel through our circus town. All right. Oh, and there go the fireworks. There they go. Oh, and we missed them because we went inside the tent. All right, so now we're inside the circus tent. We should be able to go right back around into the outside. And we're going to stop at the turntable. So that way we can turn. Eh. Oh, that, my emergency brake is not nearly as strong as I thought it was. Let's go ahead and back it up. There we go. All right. And let's go ahead and turn over to the right, please. This is looking good. I like the way this is turning out. All right. Now let's go at like a mid-level speed so we can have time to absorb everything. So we're going to take a left, go around the merry-go-round. There we go. This is looking beautiful. I like this. I like this a lot. All right, nobody's riding the merry-go-round, but there's a line. I mean, they can keep the ride going if they want. Just all the kids get to watch the merry-go-round. <laughs> I guess that's what's going on there. <laughs> hey, kids, you want to ride this? No, you can just you can just look. Just watch it go around in circles. All right, this looks really good up close. Like all this stuff looks really, really beautiful. We got the rock wall. We got our uh, hot air balloons. All right, we got the people climbing on the rock wall there. Let's go ahead and take a left around the Ferris wheel. You can see a big line. A lot of couples want to go on the Ferris wheel. Have a nice romantic time looking at the barren desert. All right. Again, I wonder what's in these tents. Leave those comments down below so we can figure out what's actually going on inside those tents. And then let's go ahead and head on back. And we can play the circus theme backwards as we head home to our circus tent. All right, I, I forgot about, you can see all the, the campers and stuff out here, all right. That doesn't sound quite as good going, uh, oops. Doesn't sound quite as good going backwards as it does going forward in my opinion. So anyway, that is the circus desert, the desert circus town, I guess is what it's called, or the oasis circus town. Oh, that, that sounds better, doesn't it? Oasis circus town. All right, so let me know what you thought about it. I figured we'd uh, just go over the new stuff that was added to the game. If new stuff gets added to the game in the future, I'll probably make an episode on that. And if that's what you'd like, let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, because creative games like this is what we play on this channel. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.